Today's episode of the Dog Training Revolution is sponsored by PetFlow.com slash Zach George. You're gonna meet Brody the Shetland Sheepdog. Now, Brody is particularly reactive around moving cars. Today, I'm gonna to show you and his mom, Denise, exactly where you need to start in order to begin resolving this issue. Click thumbs up for teaching your dog positively. Also, make sure you're subscribed, that way you'll see all of my future episodes too. How much time do you spend per year driving across town to get your dog's food? If you spend 15 minutes each way, twice a month, that equates to roughly 24 hours a year. Get your dog's food on your terms. Try petflow.com slash Zach George. Choose the food you want for your dog and how often you want it delivered to your house. You can edit or change that at any time for any reason at all. Enter code Zach20 when you check out. That way you'll receive 20% off of your first order. Now, recently I had a chance to meet with Denise and her dog Brody. Let's go find out what's going on. Tell me a little bit about Brody's personality, Denise. He has a lot of energy. He's very curious. How old is he now? Eight months old. And he's just constantly investigating. Tell me the issues you're having with him. When he walks on a leash, oh. he's pulling and he's chasing and lunging at cars. Oh, yeah. And that's, barking at them. That's a tough one. Why don't we go outside? Let's see how he does when cars drive by and when you take him on a walk, and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. So he lunges straight at the, at the car. Would he be responsive to treats at all? Yeah, he likes treats. Even in the presence of a car passing? No. Come here. Come on. Come on. See, not interested at all in the treat. And so he's quiet. Now I'm actually going to seize this opportunity to reward if he'll take it. Yes, good dog. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of work to do here. I need to see that Brody listens well when Denise asks for his attention around less severe distractions while inside. Show me how he's doing with leave it and look at me. Brody, leave it. Oh, 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 oh well, okay, so we slipped up. <laughs> sit. So you always make him sit beforehand or not? I usually do. Okay. Leave it. Good, so he's leaving it. And look, he's automatically look looking at up me. to you. Look at me. Let me see sustained eye contact. Okay, I distracted there a little just to see uh -huh. how solid it was. All right, so leave it look at me looks pretty good. It's not flawless, it needs to be better. I'd like to see you tighten that up a little bit okay. and possibly work on getting him to do this outside, maybe in your backyard. That's what we need to go to the next level because until he's really solidly leaving alone something like a tree, we can't expect him to leave alone a car, something he finds very stimulating. Okay. Dogs that have issues with chasing cars like this can have them for a variety of reasons. Maybe they're terrified of the cars, or maybe they think the cars are giant play toys. Maybe they're just very curious. Either way, I can see why this problem has Denise a little worried. I'm back to check in with Denise and Brody today to see how their progress has been. Last time I was here, I left you with the homework of teaching the leave it alone, look at me combination with Brody in a few different instances. Tell me how that went. He's doing very well with that combo in the house. We've tried it in the backyard as well, and he's not quite as consistent in the backyard. How is he doing with his fetch game? Is he doing that pretty reliably? He does that well in the house and we've been working on it outside. Exercise is such an instrumental part of resolving issues that are both relating to hyperactivity as well as anxiety, which is what I think we're probably dealing with here with Brody. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that. This is not typically the kind of issue you resolve in one, two, or even three training sessions, but rather over time. It's important to focus on progress, not perfection. I want to accomplish one main thing today, and that is having Brody behave a little bit more acceptably and not lunge at every single car that passes by. Now, before we begin our main training session, I have to verify that he's ready for today's lesson. I first want to test to make sure that he's compliant as we approach the door, that is, as we get near the things that normally set him off. And I also want to make sure that he'll listen to me when we go outside in an outdoor environment. Leave it alone. How did you get that? Leave it alone, okay? Look at me, please. Yes, that was excellent. That was really awesome. This tells me while I'm very close to the door, I can get his eyes on me. Check. But what about outside? If I just go through the front door right now and start working with Brody, I'm doing two things. I'm changing his environment dramatically and I risk cars passing by setting him off. That's two major variables I'd be changing on him at one time and I think that might be too much. So let's go in the backyard where there are no cars and see how he does there first. So I'm gonna give him a minute to adjust out here. Leave it alone. Ah. Brody, look at me yes. up here. That was good, that was good. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more eye contact out of him. He's leaving it alone, so he, he is paying attention to me, but can I get his eyes on me? 
up here. Yes, that was good. Had his eyes on me for just a moment there. Yes. Really good, I'm proud of you. I can get Brody to look at me, although I can't get him to do it as consistently as I like. I think we're at the point where we can at least start to go to the next level. At first, right now, what I wanna do is just get him kind of comfortable out here. As cars pass by, I'm not really insisting that he look at me or anything like that. I just want to have him act mildly, acceptably, while kind of far away from the street. Notice we're only at the patio. I'm not gonna go up to the sidewalk. Distance is your friend. You don't wanna just start right up on top of the cars as they pass by. He's just looking down the road, waiting for a car to come by. Now, in order to get Brody's mind off approaching cars and onto me, I decided to take advantage of this setting while there are no cars that have passed by yet and carry over our look at me training in this slightly more distracting setting. Look at me, hey, I'll settle for a glance. Give it to me, come on, yes. There was a glance, that's what I was looking for. I love it, don't wanna throw up, there we go. Now see, I'm gonna try and distract him with the treat. That's okay, good boy. I'm gonna give that treat to him. Giving the treat to him does a couple of things here. It distracts him from the car, but it also starts to create that positive association that hey, when a car comes, I'm at least getting something pretty good. See that? I'm gonna give him a treat right as the car passes by before he becomes set off by the car driving. Did you see that? Good boy, yes! Right there, a car passed by. He didn't bark, which is good. That's progress. You're doing so well. Good. All right, so we're gonna move over here to the grass. Right here, see how he does. And really, my goal right now is just to get him used to looking at the cars on this busy road over here and kind of the occasional car that passes by here. here okay, now there's a car that caught me a little off guard. Oh, boy. All right, all right. See, I mean, that's gonna happen. That's why we wanna prepare our dogs. There's another car moving over here. As this car approaches, I'm gonna give him treats. I know, I see his attentions on it. Oh, oh boy, my bad. Here we go, come here and see. What do you, since he's barking there, I'm gonna go back a little ways here just to create a little bit more distance. Let's see how this goes, here we go. You want this? Good, he took the treats. Oh, almost, almost. That was a bit much for him. So right now what that tells me is if I go much beyond here, it's, I'm gonna have a really tough time. So I probably wanna get things looking pretty smooth at this distance from the street first. Over here, good, yes, good job. Here, look, look, you want this? No, nope. that one didn't go so well. So right now we're just too close for him, as you can see. A big difference from back here on the patio to right here in the front yard. As you begin to get traction, your progress starts to happen a lot faster. So just be patient in the beginning. My goal is to find the optimal distance where he is compliant. I think what we need to do is take a step back, maybe a little bit off the patio, but still a little bit closer to the street from where we last had success. Boy, very good. Here's the car over here. Good boy, very good. The car drove by. Very good, yes. Now that is the magic moment I'm looking for. But there's a fine line between pushing it too much and really being content with the progress you've achieved in a certain training session. Every dog is different with this. Some dogs will make progress on this very quickly. Other dogs may take several weeks on this. So it really just depends on your dog. This was a lot of progress for a single training session. The important thing is not to rush him into this. Thank you to all of our supporters on patreon.com. Thanks to you, we're able to do more and more videos just like the one you saw today. If you wanna contribute to our crowdfunding campaign, feel free to make a small monthly contribution. You can also support the dog training revolution by changing the way you buy dog food. Set up automatic pet food delivery at petflow.com slash Zach George. Know that you're supporting positive training when you do that. I'll have my Facebook page in the description as well, so be sure to like me over there. Click thumbs up for Brody, he did great. And of course, make sure you're subscribed. He did a fantastic job today. Thank you today. so much. Brody's so fun to work with, he really is awesome. Take a look at these other videos as well. If your dog doesn't stay reliably, see my last video, how to teach your dog to stay no matter what. Now you saw in this video how I used the leave it, look at me combo. It's incredibly valuable. If you haven't taught this to your dog, check out my lesson on that. Does your dog listen well except when anyone comes over? Rue the Border Collie and I will show you what you need to do. Thank you so much to all of our patrons. You guys are the best. I'll see all of you in the next episode.